welcome to my living room. Is that cute enough? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my living room, everyone. When I first moved this apartment, my landlord was very gracious. He let me paint it this vibrant gypsy teal blue, which I'm very thankful for. This living room has so many competing styles in it that I thought it was time for a real refresh and some added pieces to kind of bring everything together. As you can see, it's sort of half Victorian artist attic and half captain study, if you will. You'll notice all this boat imagery, a lot of gold ornate frames you know, busts. I'm very big fan of busts. For this makeover, I'm going to try to enmesh two different styles. That would be kind of a mid-century eclectic and that kind of like jungalo style, which is really in right now. So without further ado, let's go. You know how it is. You're waiting for your rug and you just want to fill that void inside you with something, anything. So of course, I'm going to the pet store. Sinuous movement. Oh, mesmerizing. You are beautiful. You kind of look like banana taffy. Now that I've got my jungle inspiration, it's time to head home for a DIY. Looks like the red tegu has escaped. We need to replace this ship with something a little bit more jungly. So I took a large vintage frame that I got from an antique store at like a crazy discount. Notice the ornate detail. And I decided to make my own cheap canvas with a moving box and a painter's drop cloth. All under $20. I sliced the cardboard to size and then stretched the canvas over the box before stapling it all around while pulling it tight. You might be worried about them pushing through, but really they're not. It's pretty thick. I started with a base coat of like a warm white latex paint that I got from a sample at Home Depot. Good news is I didn't have to iron it, which is super good news because I didn't iron it. And I think what happened is that I painted it and the moisture of the paint kind of tightened up all the fibers. So uh, it's great. I think it's ready to, um, to start sketching on and painting. Is that gross? Oops, sorry. Let's go. What do you think will emerge from this painting? Is it? Could it be? It's a mod version of a snake I just saw, with some artistic license, of course. It's a fairly simple design, but it required quite a bit of paint and uh, quite a bit of patience, which is a virtue I'm really working on. To that effect, I have engaged in a painting yoga salutation consisting of several poses. Namaste. Comment below if you think I stained my white top throughout this process. So we are still waiting for the rug, so instead let's turn our attention to this wall. So this is just your typical marble pillar I picked up after my grandparents passed away, honestly. So this, this shall remind me of them um, and their odd taste. So I just stuck, um, who was this? Uh, Mendelssohn, I think he's a composer, and spray painted him this nice uh, kind of aqua. And then this is a um, piece of furniture that I made that I thought would be kind of like a touchdown center, put my mail, put my keys, but it's the opposite side of the room. So it's silly to have this here. And this might look like a bong, but actually it is a swung vase. Um, so it's pretty cool. Maybe need some flowers for context. And a random painting I made with boobs or commas or, you know, interpretation. And then this is actually a bottle opener, but I thought it was kind of cool. Just like this guilty kind of bear. I think I might leave them even though bears aren't really in the jungle. Maybe some jungles. I need to study biology some more. Peekaboo. 
This is another antique that I've been using. We used it as a pot that's cool, but now it shall hold a fake plant. Doesn't this look jungly? This is supposed to be a, what it starts with an M. It's not a manzanita. What is it? Uh, this is supposed to be, I'll put it on the screen. I think this is too bedazzled and too just like over the top, so. Kind of like the idea of this piece of artwork because it kind of replicates what's going on below. That was the thing. Like, here's a pot with some plants. Here's a pot and it's like more graphic. What do we think about the bear? Comment below, please. We'll go elsewhere. Hello. I think this should go back over here. Just to get that 70s glamour. Super excited because look what just came in. It's my new rug. Woo! I think it's really going to work and kind of add that jungle style. It's like black and white, but I think it can read a little cream, which is good because I don't like the stark whiteness. Let's see how this all looks. I've been scouring OfferUp for weeks and I came across these cabinets to replace my tall green bookcase. These are amazing. They're solid wood and I think they're originally from World Market and they have this kind of worn in look and these stencils with this hand painting. So I laid down some of these mats and cut them to size from Ikea. They're about a dollar a piece just so that it would be the same uh, thickness as the rug. I like how these are lower than the previous bookshelf so it doesn't obscure the window and it gives kind of a balance to the rest of the room. It's really difficult in a small living room to not put all of your furniture against the wall. So by creating different heights of things, it'll draw the eye in different ways and it won't feel as cramped. Next, I installed a combination charging station and console behind the sofa. This is a DIY I made and you can see the link below in the description from an Ikea shelf. It was really easy and provided another surface for drinks and hiding unsightly cords. And now some new artwork to jazz up the joint. Uh huh. We got a tiger, we got some birds, we got this bird. Fancy. And now we're just gonna cover up the art with this lovely snake lamp. I bought the snake lamp from CB2, but everything else here was thrifted or flea marketed. Maybe some more books. Too many books, never enough books. I know horses are not really like exactly the jungle thing, but that color that is. Maybe that's where my new fruit bowl is permanently <laughs> in my living room. I've had this chair for a few years and it was really hard to part with it, but it's actually really uncomfortable. So I bought a chair during one of those big sales to tie in the jungle theme once again. Do not use blades to open. I guess you're just supposed to be super strong and just like hulk it open. We'll see. I'm gonna use this. It's my chair. Just a few finishing touches for this meditation corner. Yes, I have finally bought a living creature. This is called a snake plant. Big surprise. A little journal moment. A little sketching journal moment. And then an arbitrary piece <laughs> of photography equipment that is film and I probably wouldn't know how to use for the aesthetic. So this is where majority of my books went once I took down that bookshelf. I'm slightly okay with it, except I feel like this is getting kind of heavy. So we're gonna just redo some of this stuff to make it look shiny and new. And we need to 
address the lack of height, you know, put something up there, probably some plants or something. As it stands, just a lot. And the vibe is not exactly right, you know? I think this one needs to change. This is in my, my phase of loving Everest people. I mean, I don't love Everest people. I love reading books about Everest because these people are insane and you should read it so that you feel better about yourself. These kind of things you just sort of have to play around with over and over again, you live with it, and then you figure out what you like best. So none of this is permanent. Too much? No such thing. So once again, I'm going back to some fake plants because up there they're not going to get any sunlight and certainly not any watering. So look at that. It's like a baby version of the other one. As you can see, this entryway needs a little bit of tidying up. I'm replacing this tray with something a little bit more classy. This is an old trunk that I got at a garage sale and then put upright on some casters to provide like a little touchdown space. You will go in here. You will go in here. Some masks. Oh, should they not touch that? You will go in here. And you will go right here. Mask. Cloth mask. K95 mask. So I bought this guy off of, where did I buy this? I bought this at a thrift store and I actually originally wanted it for my bathroom, didn't fit in the bathroom, but considering the very little bit of clearance I have here, I, mean, I don't want anything too bulky around here. And honestly, I only wear about three to four pairs of shoes the entire year. And yet I own, let's not get into that. Anyways, if you'd like to see some decluttering content, that's probably coming up next. There you go, and there, and there. Some final, final touches. I got this ironically as like America and then I spray painted it this kind of craft cheese, you know, symbolism. Um, but I don't think it's going with the jungle, the color very jungle, but uh, the sentiment not so much. So this will be rehoused elsewhere. Reveal in three, two, one. Thank you for joining me on this adventure where we transform my living room into the jungle oasis of my dreams. So now you can sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea or a banana. 
This looks suggestive. Maybe stop waving bananas. And watch this next video about how I transformed an Ikea shelf into a charging station and console behind the sofa. And please comment down below what kind of content you want to see from me in the future. More fruit? More makeovers? Uh, all the other things? More crows? I have tons of crows in this neighborhood. The choice shall be yours. Until next time.